You've heard of acres of land being seized in Tamil Nadu, in Uttar Pradesh, in Gujarat, and now in Karnataka too. A Vakf alleged land grab scandal has sparked a huge showdown. Reports indicate that land records, revenue records, were altered overnight. And we're talking about acres of land that belong to farmers in Karnataka's Vijaypura. These farmers now don't know where to go. They don't know who to seek help from because they say with no intimation, the revenue records have been changed overnight. And they're alleging that it was done at the behest of the state government. The Congress now firefighting this crisis has put the blame on a local official while also claiming that it's been blown out of proportion by the BJP. What exactly happened in Karnataka's Vijaypura? Is this a manufactured controversy? Or are farmers really suffering because the Vakf board has now claimed all of their hard-earned land? Let's tell you more in our report first. Shocking expose in Karnataka Vakf land grab case. It has now come to light that land records were changed overnight to give ownership to Vakf board, while Karnataka farmers who own the land were kept in the dark. The Sidramia government blames the local tehsildar for fraudulently inserting Vakf name after a meeting that was held with Minister Zamir Ahmed Khan. State government says as many as 44 land pockets were given to Vakf in 21 days. Without notice indita shildaru without notice a nalavattan properties ke without notice the dosa indikana madida yaru indita shildar adana iga somoto ac avaru adana tagidukondidare adana rectification madlikke notice kottu adana male rectification madko Earlier, residents of Honwada village received a notice from the Tehsildar to file their objection to acres of land being reassigned to the Vakf board. Tamil Nadu ho gaya, aaj Karnataka ho gaya. Aisa ke ham log kahan jayenge na? Court mein bhi pass nahi. Court mein gaye to iska liye alag kanun hai. Iske liye alag court hai. Waha pe ja ke aap appeal karo. Ham log karib mein 70 asi koro log log hai ham log. Ham log kahan jana chahiye? और उसमें स्पेशली किसान किसानों को चीन किसान के पेट पे लात मार के वकफ में क्या करेंगे द फार्मर्स मेट बीजेपी एमपी तेजस्वी सूर्य एंड सॉट हिज हेल्प ओवर द इशू द ओपोजिशन बीजेपी वेंट ऑल गन्स ब्लेजिंग अगेंस्ट द कांग्रेस लेड कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट एंड अक्यूज देम ऑफ माइनॉरिटी अपीजमेंट द बीजेपी एमपी लैश्ड आउट इट्स सिद्रामिया लेड कर्नाटक गवर्नमेंट एंड आस्क्ड द कांग्रेस इफ दे वर टर्निंग कर्नाटक इनटू पाकिस्तान the notice has been issued because the work board felt that it is their land and upon that notification a, 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 a congress minister demanded the authorities to register and within 15 days without offering any opportunity to be heard without issuance of notice without any principles of natural justice being followed hundreds of acres of land is being registered in the name of the work board what does Mr. Zamir Ahmed Khan and the Congress Party want to do in Karnataka? Do they want to make Karnataka into Pakistan? I have already told that the Work Act amendment is brought only for this purpose. And majority of the poor Muslims are also suffering because of the present, present uh, provisions in the Work Act. That's why whatever has happened in Bijapur, it cannot be accepted. It, has, it is happening in many parts of the country, many parts of the Karnataka. Almost all of them in the Bijapur, farmers have received the notice, which cannot be accepted. Jameer Ahmad Khan is not bothered about the farmers, he is bothered about his votes. Congress party, however, refuted all allegations by Tejasvi Surya and asked people not to fall prey to BJP's politics. वो लोग जानबूझ के एलिगेशन कर रहे हैं अगर उनको फार्मर्स के बारे में अगर उनको दयान होता फार्मर्स को ये लोग अन्याय कर रहे बोले तो वो मीटिंग में आना चाहिए था मीटिंग में आके आवाज उठाना चाहिए था अभी तीन दिन के बाद आके तीन दिन के बाद आएगा बोले ये कोस आई है 
The central government introduced Vakf Amendment Bill in the last session of the parliament. The bill aimed to curb powers given to the Vakf board. The bill was later referred to the standing committee and now will be tabled once again in the winter session of the parliament. With Sagai Raj in Bengaluru, we are a report India Today. So the Sidramaya government now in firefighting mode has held a detailed press conference where they've accused the BJP of creating this conspiracy, saying very clearly that the BJP is trying to spread all of this vakf issues ahead of the Maharashtra and Jharkhand elections. But having said that, the Sidramaya government has also pinned the blame on the local Tessildar, saying he's the one who's authorized these revenue records to be changed. They've also maintained that the Sidramaya government won't grab farmers' land. There's a big question mark here on exactly what's happened. Zamir Ahmed on one hand says that, look, Vakf is reclaiming their properties because a lot of their properties aren't with them. And on the other hand says that, no, this hasn't happened. Then why is action being taken against the local Tessildar? Let's play out for you what the government reaction is. <laughs> so that's the clarification that's come in from Zamir Ahmed. Remember that Zamir Ahmed, who's the minorities minister, has been accused of actually chairing a meeting just two days before these farmers spoke out about their land records being changed. The allegation is, is that Samir Ahmed in that meeting communicated that whatever Vakf property is present, it must be brought back to the Vakf board. So in a sense, the farmers believe that it was Samir Ahmed who authorized this particular move to take place in Karnataka's Vijaypura. The BJP claims that 1,500 acres of land has been claimed now by the Vakf board. We'll get you a ground report in just a few moments from now from Vijaypura to tell you exactly what the truth is. But I want to focus now now on what the government is saying and bring in Saga Raju on this broadcast. He's joining us live from Bengaluru. Saga, you were there at that press conference. What is the government's version here? On one hand, they're saying that, look, the local Tehsildar is to blame. On the other, they're saying that this is a manufactured controversy. Absolutely. They claim that it is a manufactured controversy between Yatna and the That's wrong. And that is the reason they are trying to raise up the issue. And talking about the entire controversy, MB Patil went on to say that the mistake was done only in Indi Taluk, where there was a, uh, 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 so the, where the, the land was being uh, embarked by uh, uh, the th local Tassildar, which is very wild, the, the protocol. The, yes. Okay. Uh, apologies, we'll reconnect with them. Sagai. We're having a bit of a problem there with his audio line. Uh, but Sagai getting us all of the details of what the government's version is here, where in fact the minister has maintained that yes, the local Tehsildar is to blame, but also says that none of this is true, that the BJP has created this entire issue. All right, and joining me here on 6 p.m. Prime now is Congress MLA Rizwana Arshad. Mr. Arshad, thank you for joining us on India Today. The allegation right now against the Sidramaya government, against the Congress, is that this land was taken away from farmers and taken away from them by the Vakf board at the behest of the state government, that the state government was in the know-how and agreed, gave its nod for the Vakf board to do this. Uh, I, do, I fail to understand what has happened. Uh, the BJP here, uh, as usual, has spread misinformation and misguided the people. There is no notices issued to any farmers. There is no proposal to, uh, you know, uh, claim any f lands belonging to any farmers. Why is this misinformation being spread and uh, kind of environment being created by the BJP 
which which wants to tilt the public opinion favoring some uh, a amendment which is being brought to the parliament uh, on okay. wf bill so i it's completely false where is this Mr. all started i don't understand okay mr arshad you're saying this is completely false we've spoken to the farmers they are saying the revenue records have been changed and now the name of the wakf board is mentioned if this is completely false why has mr mb patel spoken out on it and said that look the tehsildar is to blame it is a bjp manufactured controversy no records have been changed it cannot be changed overnight without hearing the respective parties and in that particular case where uh, the bjp is claiming that injustice has been done to farmers that case the wf has no claim wf has claim only to the lever acres of land and which is there right mm. and wf is a institution which has let go thousands of acres of land in various land reform acts in the same vijaypura district wf used to hold 14000 Uh, acres of land 14500 okay. acres of land in various land reform acts 12500 acres of land was given to farmers and wf very graciously accepted that right and mm. at the same time bjp here is trying to create a situation where they want to benefit in the by elections to be held in karnataka so this is a false narrative this is a no, false but, information okay, I've asked you a question, Mr. Ashish. So I'll break it into two parts. First, if this is completely false, why is the government cracking the whip? Why are they saying that look, the local tehsildar is to blame? We will now go ahead and act against this. We've spoken to the assistant commissioner. Why is all that happening if it's not true? See, uh, to be honest, to be honest, local tehsildar, if he acts. which is not according to the law then there are many various other forums to appeal see the tahsildar also cannot overnight change any record he needs to give notices to the respective parties there has to be a hearing done the documents needs to be uh, scrutinized if there are real owners of the land nobody can displace them or nobody can you know deprive them of their rightful uh, ownership so th there is nothing for for uh, anybody to worry and nothing for bjp to play politics here because law is no. is uh, quite effective in safeguarding interest of all the people concerned so i don't think so the bjp should uh, unnecessarily create uh, okay no so i let's you know keep away what the bjp's allegations are here for a moment uh, mr arshad i'll just talk about what the farmers are saying uh, and if you look at that the farmers are saying that they weren't informed they weren't intimated that's why they've raised this issue they are saying that the revenue records were literally changed to overnight so you're saying it's false but this is what the farmers are maintaining that they're troubled their land has been taken away mr arshad no 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 i don't i don't agree with that But there is no land which has been taken there is nothing no process itself initiated and whenever if there is a process due notices will be served they will be heard their documents will be scrutinized and without giving a proper hearing without scrutinizing the documents it is uh, illegal and illegitimate to overnight change any record and nothing mm. will be done of that sort that okay. is i am very clear our government will ensure that rule of law prevails and everybody gets their fair chance everybody gets their uh, due rights and nobody will be deprived of their rights no so ownership. then according to the karnataka government mr ashod whose land is it is it wakf property or is it the farmers land that the wakf is claiming now which is it uh, i will i will tell you one thing Hmm. out of the 14500 acres 12500 acres have been given to farmers through various land reform acts and okay. wf has also uh, has graciously given it to the farmers because through land reform acts it has gone so there has to be 2100 acres remaining land in the name of wf right so hmm. already uh, 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 7 to 800 acres of land is already with the wf and what i'm uh, surprised is 
where particularly BJP raises the concern, there there is no WAF uh, claim. The WAF land there is only 11 acres. So I don't know why BJP is trying to create a claim where there is no claim. Okay. Right? So BJP is trying to mislead. BJP is trying to uh, misinform the farmers. So, they are trying okay. to create a panic situation amongst them. You're saying, you're saying, Mr. Arshad, that farmers are being misled. The reality is that when this allegedly happened, the farmers first met with Mr. M. B. Patel, who is the district in charge minister, and only after that did they meet Tejasvi Surya. So, can they really be misled by the BJP here? They met first with the Sidramaya government minister. No, 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 no. There is some miscommunication. Those people who are trying to create this issue uh, is, I think, instigated by the BJP. And whatever happens, whether BJP takes it as a political propaganda or whatever happens, our government will ensure that those people who are rightful owners will never be deprived of their ownership. Whatever happens will happen with a due course of law. So there are set procedures and set due course which has to take place and mm. to establish the ownership. All these due course okay. will be followed. So nobody will be deprived of uh, their land in any which way. This okay. much I can assure you. You are saying nobody will be deprived of their land. Now Zamir Ahmed who has held a press conference now Mr. Ashad, the allegation is that Zamir Ahmed had a meet. He held a meet and spoke about the work board properties, said that whatever is the work board's properties, we must get that back. And two days after that particular meeting is when this incident in Karnataka's Vijaypura has come to light. The allegation is that it is on the directives of Zamir Ahmed that today you're seeing this entire issue of the revenue records being changed, of farmers saying that their land has been taken away by the work board, that the work board essentially is emboldened because Zamir Ahmed gave the nod for them to do this. See, Mr. Zamir Ahmed is the Minister for Minority and WAF, and it is his, uh, uh, it is his duty to protect no, the WAF sure. land. WAF is also like a semi-government uh, institution. It is not belonging to any individual. Well, right? What about farmers? So, uh, it is his responsibility to safeguard, and it is his responsibility to protect the WAF land. Whatever steps he takes to protect cannot be termed illegal. But at the same time, if a rightful owner cannot be deprived of his land. Right? Because exactly. uh, somebody has a claim. Even if there is a WAF land, there are enough uh, notifications, enough uh, records which, which will prove that whether it's a WAF land or not. So nobody needs to panic. If somebody is an encroacher, will definitely face a heat. When if there is no encroachment and there is no uh, dispute on somebody's land, mm -hmm. they should not worry. BJP so is trying to create unnecessary panic among the uh, people. Which you're is saying very, there's which no is need. Not, not right. Okay, you're saying there's no need for farmers to be scared. My final question to you, sir, is that there's this entire controversy discourse on, uh, you know, the Work for Act, and of course it's with the JPC right now. What's your view? Can you give an assurance, Mr. Rizwan Ashur, that someone who's a part of this government, that farmers won't lose out on what's rightfully theirs? Because they're worried, saying that, look, as per the current law, it's not illegal for the works to take over their land and they have no way to actually ensure that, you know, they can go somewhere and uh, address their concerns. There's no redressal measure legally as well for them. So can you give them an assurance? See, I'll, I'll tell you one thing. If the WAF establishes their ownership, that establishment also has a process, fine? And if the people who are holding the land are very sure that it is their land, they can also come forward, they will also be given a, ch a chance to come and establish their ownership. So it will not happen overnight and it cannot be done arbitrarily, right? Mm. Uh, revenue records are very serious records. It is with the government, whatever the parties contend, the government has the records to establish and understand who is the rightful owner and who is not the rightful owner. So we don't have to panic. And Vijaypura has lakhs of acres of land and uh, a, a situation is being created by BJP as if everybody will be affected by it, where already 12,500 okay. acres of land has been let go on by the WAF board uh, t for the benefit of the people. So it's not mm. a, as sensitive issue as BJP would try to make in an election time. Nobody would be deprived of their rightful ownership. This is the mm. commitment of our government. 
Everybody okay. will be heard, documents will be scrutinized and whatever uh, decision has to be taken, it will be very transparent and everybody who is affected by it can appeal in the higher courts, uh, higher platforms and having said that, this particular okay. case, Mr. M.B. Patel so has very clearly said, it is only 11 hmm. acres of land which is concerned. BJP is trying to blow it out of proportion and create issues uh, okay. which which uh, makes out to so the outside to look like it's So you're saying that the dispute, the dispute is actually over 11 acres and you're assuring that there will be uh, any steps that need to be taken for farmers will be provided to them as well, including legal recourse. We'll see if that actually happens. Mr. Rizwan Asha, thank you for joining us. You've heard from the Congress here uh, where they've said clearly that this is an issue that's been blown out of proportion by the BJP. Is that really the case? Is this nothing but, you know, a lot of manufactured politics and not really the case on ground. We've traveled to Karnataka's Vijaypura to find out exactly that, to find out what's happened to these farmers. How did this uh, happen? Their overnight revenue records have changed. How many farmers have been affected? Take a look at this ground report. I am Deepti Rao from India today and I am at Karnataka's Vijaypura district. With me is Lakappa Hatti, who is the owner of this land. But the Waqf board claims that this land belongs to them. You might remember what happened in Tamil Nadu's Tiruchendurai, where the Waqf board swallowed an entire village, including a 1,500-year-old Hindu temple. Now the people of Karnataka's Vijaypura district are facing a similar crisis. Conflict centers around 1,200 acres of land in Honvad village of Tikota Taluk in Vijaypura, where uh, the Waqf board has designated land as falling under the Shah Aminuddin Darga. But the farmers claim that there is no such darga in sight anywhere near this place. Karnataka's Vijaypura is in the heart of the Vakfu controversy. Around 41 farmers got a jolt out of the blue as the local Tehsildar told them that their land is no longer theirs. Kerala, Telangana, today Karnataka is gone. This is the whole country. Where will we go? We will go to about 70-80 people. Where will we go? 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 और उसमें स्पेशली किसान किसानों को चीन किसान के पेट पे लात मार के वो कब में क्या करेंगे? The deputy commissioner was unavailable for comments, but in a press release he clarified there had been no transfer of private land to the Waqf board and assured farmers of their rights over the properties. Reports suggest that the Tehsildar sent notices to the farmers after Waqf minister Zamir Ahmed Khan held a meeting with Waqf board members in Vijaypura to discuss alleged encroachment on Waqf properties. Farmers as well as politicians alleged that this whole issue began after Waqf minister held a meeting with these officials. Confused about the status of land ownership has left many farmers who have been cultivating these lands for generations outraged. They visited the office of the DC every day to seek clarity and stage protest against the Waqf board's claim. There is a clear shock and anger over how brazenly the land has been snatched away by the Waqf board. This is a very horrible thing going in Vijaypur. It is a land terror. Directly I am saying it is a land terror. It is a land jihad on Hindus by Waqf tribunal. Jamir Ahmad Khan, uh, he is also supporting the Waqf tribunal and uh, telling all uh, our uh, officers in DC office and revenue department make this land within 45 days as a Waqf land property. Waqf board in Karnataka is claiming that Almost all the land in Karnataka that we will take in the, under the Waqf Act. Before five years in my Uttara, there is no mention of the Waqf Board. And suddenly the Pani has been issued claiming that it is a Waqf Board property. How it is possible? The Waqf Board meanwhile has claimed that they are claiming only what has been rightfully theirs. हमलोग अब तक भी एक नहीं एक नोटिस भी नहीं इश्यू किए हैं वो जो क्या गलती के वजह से माल बागेत का जो हनुमान का साब जो बोले उसके वजह से कल ही उसका फाइनल कर दिए The situation has intensified as farmers express their determination to fight for their rights, fearing loss of their livelihood. Waqf Board's claims over Honwad village in Vijaypura has left many farmers confused. And Honwad is just one of the many villages in Karnataka's Vijaypura district that the Waqf is claiming as their own. On talking to the farmers, one can easily sense the fear of loss of livelihood. This is Deepti Rao for India Today. 
Okay, let me bring in Deepti Narayan Rao, who filed that report for us from Vijaypura. Deepti, good evening. You've spoken to farmers firsthand. So take us through what really the allegation is here, Deepti. There are two versions. Look, the BJP says 1,500 acres of land has been claimed by the Vakf. The Congress says that's not the case. It's only 11 acres. What are the farmers saying? Uh, Akshita, you know, this is not uh, only one or two villages we are talking about. These cases are primarily from two taluks. One is... Uh, uh, Tikota Taluk and one is Indi Taluk. Now farmers in Honwad village in Tikota Taluk have been claiming that around 1,500 acres of their land is being claimed by the Wakf board. They showed us proofs uh, of notices sent by the Tehsildars. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, after this news spread, there was panic among farmers uh, and only after that did uh, Congress minister, who's also the district in charge of Vijaypura, uh, MD Patil, he issued a statement saying that only 11 acres of this uh, 1,200 uh, uh, area of the disputed land belongs to the Wakf board. Now, okay. out of this 11 acres also falls a 10-acre burial ground. Now, this is a Hindu burial ground. So farmers have been asking uh, if they can't even die in peace, that they cannot be laid to rest after their death in peace. This is still a point of contention, these sure. 11 acres. And, uh, you know, the difference between 11 and 1,200 is not uh, minimal. It's a huge mistake. and uh, you know, when I spoke to Wakf Minister about it, uh, he said that this is, it's nothing to worry about and it's now been rectified. But uh, is it really nothing to worry about? Because farmers were left confused about the status of land ownership. Sure. They went outside the DC office. They've protested for uh, weeks now asking, you know, uh, seeking clarity and justice. Now, the other okay. issue is from the Indi Taluk, where uh, reports suggest that uh, in 44 properties overnight, Wakf Board claimed uh, uh, their rights. Now, MB Patil has confirmed that this is a mistake made by the Tehsildar. Okay. But we still don't know if, uh, you know, the uh, the name will be rectified and rechanged to, you know, the farmer's name. He has said that the okay. action will be taken against uh, the uh, Tehsildars, but the, you know, status of land ownership is still uh, unclear. So from what Deepti is telling us, there are two issues here. And the government is saying that we're sorting it out, we're ironing it out. In one case, they say everything is taken care of. The other, they've promised action against the local Tehsildar. And that's where things stand right now. Deepti has gone to the ground and she's told us firsthand what farmers have told her. She's seen those documents. And this is the current situation. Many of the farmers are left in the lurch, not knowing what will happen next to all of the land that they use to earn a livelihood every single day. Deepti, thank you very much for joining us. Thank you for filing that ground report for us. Now, I know a lot of you are wondering, how is this possible? That if these farmers have documents to prove this is their land, how is it the revenue records can be changed overnight? How is it that the Vakf board can suddenly swoop in and say, hey, this is my land? I explain to you now exactly what the Vakf board's powers are currently as they stand. So let's explain to you what exactly is Vakf first. Vakf is defined as a property that's given in the name of God for religious and charitable purposes. Here's the exact definition. Vakf means the permanent dedication by any person of any property for any purpose recognized by the Muslim law as pious, religious or charitable. Now the proceeds are typically used to go ahead and finance educational institutions. It's also used to finance graveyards. And of course, importantly, mosques as well. And finally, also for shelter homes. This is what, in fact, the money is used for. Now, here's an important point that you must note. As per Sharia law, land that's once given to the Vakf, it cannot be reversed. Notably, also, their holdings have actually surged in the last few years, doubled since 2009. Let's explain to you now the history of the Vakf Act. This act first came into being, was first passed by Parliament way back in 1954. Subsequently, there were changes made. It was actually repealed. And then a new Vakf Act was passed in 1995 that gave more powers to the Vakf boards. And then again, a few years later, in 2013, there were changes made. This act was further amended to actually give far-reaching powers to the Vakf board to designate the property as Vakf property. Let's now tell you all about the functions of the Vakf Board. 
currently, and here's how it works, it's not just one WAPF board, it's every state has a WAPF board, and that's headed by a chairperson, one or two nominees from the state government are there, Muslim MLAs, Muslim MPs, Muslim members of the State Bar Council, Islamic scholars, all of them are part of these boards. And these boards have powers under the law to administer property, to take measures for the recovery of lost properties and actually go ahead and sanction the transfer of immovable property. The Waqf board has also been granted unrestrained power under the law to register properties. So how many Waqf properties are there in the country? Currently, these Waqf boards have over 8 lakh, 8 lakh 70,000 immovable properties, 16,173 movable properties, and over 3 lakh estates, 3 lakh 56,031 estates to be exact, in more than 8 lakh acres of land. Let's tell you now about the Modi government's proposed amendments to this act. We'll break it down point by point. First, the draft legislation is likely to propose the restructuring of Waqf boards. The amendments aim to enhance inclusivity, and this is an important one. It will ensure women representation on all Waqf boards. Secondly, the government plans to make it mandatory for the Waqf board to actually register its property in the district collector's office so that all of the property can be evaluated. Third, all claims made by the Waqf Board on properties will now undergo mandatory verification as well if these amendments are passed. And remember, a JPC will decide on whether these amendments will become a reality or not.